very scared, I'm not going to lie. I've heard the recovery process is not fun. And a lot of people um, online last night told me I should have been drinking pineapple juice for the past three days. We also just found out Jake's car is leaking, so we're both not in a good mood. <laughs> it's like leaking inside. The nurse came in and checked all my paperwork and now I'm gonna be sent in. See you after surgery. I'm not okay. I hate this. Like that is so weird that that's in me. I just pee bag because they gave me morphine and it made me feel like I was gonna vomit. Apparently it went well. That's the update. Mom's pizza they had to keep me longer because my blood pressure was low but it's just because of my blood pressure is always low i was also nauseous because of the morphine they gave me it also made me sweat profusely it was disgusting anyway now i'm really hungry so i'm getting maccas he wants maccas i don't know if it's a good idea when you just had to concentrate the, the ch a cheeseburger is really soft i kind of want nuggets I don't know if it's a good idea. Have a lovely day. Thanks. Yay! So everyone, a little update. I got home and I still didn't have a lot of colour in my face or anything. So I just went straight to bed and laid down because as soon as I like stand up or anything, I get nauseous again. And just before I went to have a nap, my friend Nat came and she bought me flowers um, and pineapple juice. <laughs> She's been seeing my stories and everyone's been telling me that apparently pineapple juice helps, but it's acidic. So I don't think, I think it was supposed to help if I drank it before the surgery, which I didn't. I just thought I should probably give you a bit of an update on why I got the like tonsil surgery done. Basically, I had tonsillitis for the past six months without knowing. Georgia, my sister, gave me tonsillitis six months ago and I, it, I had tonsillitis for like the two weeks and it felt sore and then it stopped feeling sore. So I just thought I didn't have it anymore. And a couple weeks after, I was looking in my mouth and I could see that my tonsil was still inflamed and it had tonsil stones in it. And I was like, oh, that's weird because I thought I didn't have it anymore. And I thought I was still contagious and giving it to like my boyfriend and my friends. So I went to the doctor. They did some blood tests to make sure it wasn't anything like um, lymphoma, which it wasn't. Um, and then they sent me to a specialist. And the specialist has then put a camera down my nose to look at my tonsils and has seen that I have just had tonsillitis this whole time. And he said, are you tired all the time? I was like, yes, I wake up and want to go back to sleep. And I always want a nap in the day and I feel so unmotivated and so gross half the day. I just, I do feel like a lazy person a lot of the time. And he said, it's because your body's been fighting this infection for six months. And when he was putting the camera down my nose, he also found out I have a deviated septum, which is also why I'm tired. Because when I'm sleeping, I may get nine hours sleep, but it feels like six because my body isn't breathing properly. So therefore I'm not getting high quality sleep so my world has just turned on its head in the sense that I probably have to get my nose done as well I can feel the stitches in my throat and it's quite gross anyway that's a little update but I'm about to go out to the kitchen now because mum's giving me some ice cream mum got me Ben and Jerry's topped chocolate caramel cream. so I'm very excited to eat some of this she's making me pumpkin soup at the moment because she's the best it is the best weather to have tonsillitis, may I just say. It's raining right now, so it just feels right to be yeah. inside. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna jump in bed and watch some office and reply to all of your beautiful DMs because you guys have been so, so lovely about this. I've been posting all my stories. If you wanna keep up with me, this is my Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description because I do post a lot on there. Let's watch some office because Jim Halpert makes me feel so much better. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Before we watch the office, I have to show you this. Look at that. I found this on Facebook. I'll tag the company here or in the description, but it's like my official sleep shirt. And I put Jake there, which is my boyfriend and his dog, Polly. I could have put myself on it as well. I just thought about that. But it's cute. I can't wait to give that to him. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to him on his birthday because that's forever away. I always get him little stupid things like this. And I'm like, oh, I'll give it to him for his birthday. 
And I can't wait because it's in September. I'm just too organized. <laughs> Plus, I know he's watching this video, so I'll have to keep doing it. <laughs> Ow, that hurt my throat when I just snorted. it. So my laptop just died. Um, let's knit because I was just at my grandma's. While we were there, she taught me how to knit. And I went op shopping up where my grandma lives. So I feel like I should show you guys what I got from the op shop as well. I've already forgotten how to knit. Is it that it's that way? Okay. So we go out, up, and in. Then we go. Okay. Scratch that. Why not knitting? <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I got from the op shop. Got these handbags. Look how cute that is. Two dollars. It's like business chic. I felt, and I feel like you literally would buy this on Princess Polly for like thirty-five dollars. And it's also like a really good size because I can keep my camera in it. Number two bag. Now I've seen these on Cotton On. Two dollars, my friend. Brown jumper, but I was like, it's so in right now, and it's got like a little zip up. It's so cute. I literally think that this was someone's school skirt, but I will rock it because I don't know what school they went to. It's literally just a little school skirt. Then we have this brown skirt, which I still have to alter. So it has like a little pleat in the front here, but it's very long. My grandma was like, oh, that's cute. I was like, grandma, you realize I'm, I'm cutting this. <laughs> it's not staying like this. So I'm gonna crop this and it'll be like a little brown skirt because brown's a moment at the moment. Then we have this blue navy little bag, $2 again, but I thought it was so in right now and so cute. Last but certainly not the least is this vintage bag my grandma gave me after seeing all these bags I just bought at the op shop. She was like, so you like vintage bags? I was like, yes. This autumn like mesh bag from when she had my dad. Like dad said he remembers her bringing this to like soccer games and stuff. And it's such a, like a good size and I'm like, we'll wear it all the time. And I'll think of grandma. So I was so, so happy with this. It's so cute too. Like it literally is like a vintage bag. Like, I was so excited. And then the last item I got from my grandma's op shop was this skirt and it's got pleats in it. It was a size, I think 18 from literally Target, but I think it's so in right now. It's the browns, it's the pleats. So my grandma actually altered this for me, which was so lovely for her. I'm not gonna lie, I've got a headache from standing up too long. So I'm gonna go back to the office and read some more of your lovely messages. Um, and then my boyfriend's coming over for dinner tonight. All right guys, I'm coming in with another update. I've rushed my hair. I know, it's a big step, it's a big deal. I brushed my hair, I just had a shower on. I shaved my legs. I have a bra on, I have pants on. I've been walking around in the same t-shirt for five days now. No pants, no bra, just a t-shirt. I think I've kind of pushed myself a little too hard though. Because now I feel like I need a 10 hour nap. I'm doing okay. I know I'm not looking that pretty and I honestly feel pretty gross. But I brushed my hair today. It's a new beginning and I'm about to put on some of my native plastic free deodorant. Hi, uh, me editing here. I don't know why there is literally a um, scratch above my eye that I just didn't realise and didn't... didn't talk about but i do notice it but i'm, I'm g i don't know where it came from um moving on and yes this is the sponsor of today's video i cannot thank them enough i love working with native i literally don't use any other deodorant ever ever since i got my first bottle of native i literally have not gone back and now they have plastic free bottles which is so so exciting here i have my lavender and rose my cucumber and mint and my sensitive cotton and lily and i had to get the cotton and lily because i had my name in it like why wouldn't i i didn't think my career would be me putting on deodorant in front of a camera but here we are do you want to like not be in here right now? Thank you. The garbage truck just pulled up, of course. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that's right. Leave. I got lavender and rose last time I worked with Native and I still have a bottle of it. It honestly lasts so long and it is my favorite deodorant to use. I honestly just feel like a better person when using Native because I know that it's vegan, it's cruelty free and it's aluminium free. And if you can make it vegan, why not make it vegan? I also love how Native cares about the environment and has made a plastic free bar. It's honestly my favorite. I will never be looking back. I love how I don't feel sticky after I put on the deodorant and honestly dries instantly and that's something I love about cream deodorants. Also, aerosol deodorants are horrible for the environment so it's best to stick with a bar like native. And if you use my code that's on the screen now, usually 3D owners are $39 but you'll get them for $25 which is 33% off. And with my code you also get 20% off any toothpaste or body wash. So what are you waiting for? Get it! There's nothing to lose! Yeah. Hello everyone. It's been about four days since my surgery and since I last talked to you because I've just been sleeping. 
and I've been really sick. I have just felt so nauseous to the point I can't move my head without feeling like I'm gonna vomit. And for four days, that's kind of how I was, so I couldn't really pick up a camera and speak to it. I'm doing a lot better today. I vomited last night after four days of feeling nauseous. I actually vomited, and it actually made me feel better. So that was good. So my beautiful boyfriend is on daycare duty. Shout out to him, he's been amazing. He had to clean up my vomit last night. And you know how I haven't scared him away yet, but that has been my past couple of days. Nothing has really changed in between the days except the t-shirt I'm wearing. It's kind of in shower. And that's the thing, I just feel so stinky. Like Jake gives me a hug, but like he doesn't cuddle me and he doesn't kiss me because I literally smell. My mouth, like my breath is terrible. It has felt like knives and razors have been in my throat all week, but I'm doing better. I'm hoping to be good by Friday because I'm actually supposed to be flying to Queensland for an event um, that I was really looking forward to. So hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> work so naturally I had a cry because I was scared about being on my own but I just napped so I'm fine. <laughs> I also cried because I just want GYG. I don't have GYG but guess what? I FaceTime Georgia crying so she's bringing me GYG because Jake wouldn't let me have it because he's probably right and I'll probably be sore but I really want it. Mm. Hey, girl. They always put too much cheese on it so I always end up having to take it off because I just don't like cheese. Jake's calling me he's gonna be mad that I'm eating GYG. Hi! Hello, how you feeling? I bet you sound good. I know, because also Georgia got me GYG. Lil, be careful, you don't want to go downhill. I'm being careful. She got me the really soft beef. Okay, just if it hurts, remember, just you'd rather be safe than sorry. But it's GYG. Can I put this in a blender? You probably could. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I have to drive today, which I haven't done in a week because the only person who can look after me is my boyfriend and currently he is at the mechanics getting his car fixed. So I have to drive 10 minutes down the road and get him. I'm allowed to drive, like that's not the issue. I just, if I move my head, I get a headache and have to lay down for like 10 minutes. So, but I am doing better. So, and it's just 10 minutes down the road. So hopefully we'll be okay. I'm taking Mindy for moral support. Not that she gives a shit about me. She's just excited because she hasn't been out of the house for a week. <laughs> Hi. Uh, put in park and everything? No. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, I was thinking about a Sunday from Macca's. Yeah, we can do that. Because they're smooth. So I was just going to get a lemonade. I got my Sunday. Mindy's really interested. And we got food. I have my Sunday. I waited till it melted so I could drink it. Update, it's the next day. We have just driven to Jake's because we have to look after his puppy now because his parents are going away and my parents are back. So we're about to go see Popo, which is exciting because she makes me happy and I have not been feeling great today. I thought I was doing better yesterday and I was and I'm still doing better than I was, but I thought I'd be doing better than this by now. But anyway, fingers crossed. Hello. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Oh, belly scratches. Oh, I showered. <laughs> what are you doing on the table? You said it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Okay, I'm just in bed now. Can we just talk about how Polly literally smelt my crutch? That was the first thing she did when she greeted me. She knows I'm my period. Yeah, also I got my period yesterday on top of all this, so thriving. Stop smelling, my. I literally just put the camera on her. Jakey's making us dinner. Yeah, Jakey's making us dinner. What do you perk up when I say Jakey? Jakey? Yeah, Jakey's making me dinner. I'm gonna try to eat an egg. Boop, boop. Egg? Egg? Do you want an egg? You say that he was a bit rude to Jakey. She was. I know. I said that Jakey doesn't listen to me. I know. How rude is that? Because he always listens to me, doesn't he? But Lily's just tired and over being sick. And you know you are so beautiful, Popo. Don't vomit on me, I swear to God. You say thank you, Katie. I had a whole bowl of egg and avocado. I'm very proud of myself. 
Hello everyone! It is officially two weeks post-op as I'm filming this right now. Um, I'm at my boyfriend's house, sorry about the background, it's not very fancy. But I needed to give you guys an update because I'm ending this video and I'm posting it today actually. And I wanted to tell you guys how I'm feeling uh, post-op. If you're going to get your tonsils out, don't. That sucked. That was the worst two weeks of my life. I ate toast yesterday and I think that was on day 11. Like that literally, that was the most solid food I've eaten in two weeks. I felt so sick and I felt like razors were eating me all week. Literally day 11 and 12, it's, I'm only just starting to feel normal again. It was not fun. I'm still in some pain when I eat um, and things like that, but hopefully that'll go away soon. I just want to let you guys know there are some really, really interesting videos coming up. I'm going away to Queensland in the next week. I'm literally leaving on Friday this week and there'll be lots of videos coming up from that trip so make sure you keep that notification bell on you subscribe and you don't miss any um, I'm really excited to share with you guys my little journey but I hope you enjoyed this video it was a bit um, all over the place because I'm still sick and I was sick while editing it and it was just a lot but yeah this was my tonsil surgery video if you're gonna get your tonsils out good luck um, eat lots of baby food eat lots of ice cream just know it's not fun and it's quite painful <laughs> Uh, but thank you for watching. My name's Lily and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!